Hello YouTubers, welcome to the first episode of your own made personal assistant ESP SMS. So in this first episode, we will learn the most basic trick we can do with our assistant. Just like answering the basic questions and the calculator trick. So let's get started. Uh, okay, so if you are regularly following Tech SMS, you must be knowing that I have recently published an article on how all the assistants which are in the market works and a kind of flow chart of how our assistant will work. So if you haven't uh, read that yet, uh, go watch it out. It's amazing. You will love it. Okay, so starting with our episode, I've written this blog as you don't need to write any points or watch this video again and again. I've written all the important points onto this blog so you can have a glance whenever it requires. So first we'll start with the basic trick uh, which is the calculated trick as it doesn't require any API for that. I already embedded the logic of the calculator inside the code. Looking into the code, first you need to add the SSID name and password so as to it get connected with your router. After that it will show ask your question and will wait until something is entered in the serial monitor. For the calculator, I have attached a special keyword called calculate followed by the equation. So as soon as, it's, as soon as it receives a string starting with the word calculate, it will automatically recognize it and will jump into the function called calculate or we can say the library called calculate. I have defined a particular format for using the particular trick. So you don't need to remember the format. Just type the help format in the serial monitor and you will get the format of all the tricks. So let's see the formula of the calculator. As you can see, it is calculate space first number space sign space second number. So particularly in this format, you need to enter the data so as to make the calculation successful. In the library, you can see that I'm filtering out the number and the sign based on the space between them. Here I also consider the name of the sign along with the sign itself. So you can write 1 plus 2 and you can even write 1 plus 2. You will get the same answer. But why this? Because I thought of interfacing a voice to text uh, service uh, based on our smartphone into this uh, smart assistant. Um, but I haven't interfaced that yet. Uh, so leave it. After separation of these three terms, I've simply added, uh, sorry, I've applied the symbol max and gave the answer in the response. So this is the most basic trick, the calculator trick. So moving towards the next trick, uh, answering the basic questions. Now assistants in the market have a huge database equipped with almost every answers to our question. As they have a large team uh, for writing this database, our assistant doesn't have such a, a large number of people or we can say a team rather it has a team of very few people and to be precise it has only one and that's me but anyways yes you can join the community and you can also you can give suggestions of adding any trick to this uh, assistant by mailing us at espsms at the rate techiesms.com so I've written answers of some very basic questions and the curious questions everyone will have towards this newborn assistant. Like who are you, where are you from, who is your teacher and what is your aim etc. So first I've decided some questions which are already mentioned inside the code. Uh, you can have a look to the number of questions in the library called constants.h. And based on that questions I've prepared the relevant answers and wrote that answer somewhere on the internet. Yes, uh, I've written the answers on the uh, internet. Uh, they are open and uh, you can also find the answers, but you need to search for that. So let me know if you find the answers on the internet. Mail me. So then I made API of that answers. And based, of, based on the questions, I'm requesting the respective API for that. So those who have watched my previous video must be knowing how to make an API using thingspeak.com. Still, I will show you in short about how to make an API using thingspeak.com it's very easy so first of all go to that website thingspeak.com create an account log into your account then go to apps then things http then click on the new things http and open a new tab uh, and open a website from which you want to fetch the data so let's take an example of fetching data of, of full form of SCADA so we'll type full form of SCADA and uh, open this Wikipedia so first of all copy this uh, wikipedia link into our uh, the things http or form 
so we'll just paste this link after that uh, in the wikipedia page select the required data which is uh, this is scada uh, right click then inspect then uh, click on the data uh, right click copy xpath now paste this uh, id of the data into our things pick form uh, in the last section pass string so paste it and click save so this is the api link which you need to request to fetch this particular data so let's paste this and click okay so as you can see that we are getting the only the required data that is full form of scada so now you have an api ready so in our assistant i will be comparing the questions uh, similar to this just like uh, give me the full form of scada or full form of scada or what is the full form of scada or something like that i will be comparing the similar question and will call an api whenever this type of question is asked so you taught your assistant how to respond so, be, so likewise I have made the API for all the answers and uh, pasted that link or API into the code. So whenever the relevant question is asked, it will call the respective API. So this is the basic of how assistant work or how you can teach your assistant to respond to the question. Uh, assistant in the market do have a technique of machine learning. So what they do is they consider a couple of factors before responding to any questions. Uh, factors like uh, from which place you are sending uh, the question or from which place you are asking the question and uh, there are many factors they are considered and another thing what they do is uh, there are some of the questions may possible they don't have an answer for that so what they do is they consider that question and analyze that and may update that server so that further if the same question is asked they are able to respond our assistant don't have this trick but yes what I did is uh, uh, or what we can do is if you ask a question of if you have any idea to add any trick to this assistant you can definitely mail us at espsms at techiesms.com so i will analyze that question or any trick and will definitely update us update the database or update the code to add the new trick so this is it for the episode one and uh, subscribe to my channel for such uh, upcoming episodes uh, on the next episode i will um, i think i will be teaching you about yeah fetching the weather information and the weather information and temperature information of all the cities of the world so you will come to know how esp is able to respond that all the information regarding the cities of the world till then explore learn share with me techie sms